Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe a practical that can be used to determine the specific heat capacity of a material. In the last video we saw that the specific heat capacity of a substance is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of the substance by one degree Celsius. So in this video we're going to look at how we can determine the specific heat capacity of a material. This is a required practical so you may well see this in your exam. We're going to determine the specific heat capacity of vegetable oil. We start by placing a beaker on a balance and pressing the zero button. This sets the balance to zero. Now we add our oil to the beaker and we record the mass of the oil from the balance. We now place a thermometer and an immersion heater into the oil. Next we read the starting temperature of the oil. Now we wrap the beaker in insulating foam and that reduces any thermal energy transfer to the surroundings. We now connect a joule meter and a power pack to the immersion heater. The joule meter tells us how many joules of electrical energy pass into the immersion heater. Now we leave the setup for around 30 minutes. Now that will allow the temperature to rise enough so we can accurately read it on the thermometer. Ok we're almost finished now. Next we read the total number of joules of energy that passed into the immersion heater and the final temperature of the oil. Now we've got all the information we need to calculate the specific heat capacity of the oil. We've already seen this equation. The change in thermal energy equals the mass multiplied by the specific heat capacity multiplied by the temperature change. Now we need to rearrange this equation for specific heat capacity and here it is. The specific heat capacity is the change in thermal energy divided by the mass multiplied by the temperature change. So here are the results of the experiment. 0.95 kilograms of oil was heated from 20 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. 87,258 joules of electrical energy passed into the immersion heater. Calculate the specific capacity of the oil. So the change in thermal energy is 87,258 joules. The mass is 0.95 kilograms and the temperature changes 55 degrees Celsius. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a specific heat capacity of 1,670 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Now the specific heat capacity that we've calculated may not be fully accurate and there are a few reasons for this so we're going to look at these now. The first problem is thermal energy passing out of the beaker and into the air. Now we can reduce this by using an insulator with a lower thermal conductivity and we'll be looking at thermal conductivity in a later video. Secondly, not all of the thermal energy from the immersion heater passes into the oil and we can overcome that by ensuring that the immersion heater is fully submerged. The next problem is incorrectly reading the thermometer and to prevent that we can use an electronic temperature probe. Finally, thermal energy may not be spread through the oil and to reduce that error we can stir the oil. Now I should point out that there will be other minor sources of inaccuracies but these are the main ones. You'll find plenty of questions on this required practical and all the others in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok so hopefully now you should be able to discover practical that can be used to determine the specific heat capacity of a material.